So what is Splunky? Well, Splunky is a game that makes you hurt on the inside, like a lot. But it always feels so rewarding when you get that dog, or you bait that trap, or you kill that enemy. It just has this sort of reward for when you do well. What? You want some examples? Oh, okay. Oh, that's so much loot. I don't know if all the coining was worth it, but damn, that's a lot of loot. Why does this feel so satisfying? That well, was it, the way you have to approach this game is, it, is as if it's a puzzle instead of a game about mining it. Because there's, there's so many variables you have to go in. Like, I can throw the rope up there, it'll trigger that arrow. That arrow will go down, hit the bat. Or you could use the bat to trigger the arrow and then use the rope to kill the bat. It's just, you have to think ahead. And when, when it pays off, it's so rewarding. Now, the levels. Now, each, each sort of world has four levels in it. You can go through... Uh, you can use the dogs or women or men to get extra lives, but, you know, that isn't really worth touching on. But these these worlds, they all have sort of different things. You know, it's in my uh, satisfying compilation. There wasn't actually much um, much jungle. There was, like, one jungle, and that was it. That's because I feel like the caves are where... I haven't actually got past the jungle yet. I, I'm really bad at this game. But, like, the, 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 the mines was where Spelunky, for me, really shines, because... It's so much, so much more calculated and everything. And the way, I like the way that they've designed how the levels work, where whenever you completely die, you go straight back to the very, very beginning. But it, when you reach the end of a world, you meet the Tunnel Man, who will take some of your supplies three times. And once you've, so you have to complete that world three times and give him the supplies, and then he'll make a shortcut there. However, how I was playing it think today was I would start at the very beginning just so when I got to the because I got some so good at the mines that I could get into the jungle with like extra lives and stuff it's the way you could approach that as well but finishing a shortcut with the tunnel man is one of the most rewarding things about this game I, I just love it <gasps> tunnel man I will not regret it. Oh, I'm almost there. Oh my goodness. The game is also brutal. It it whenever you die, your heart tells you that shouldn't have happened. It it wasn't your fault, but but your mind just says it just shows that you, you did the thing wrong, and you just you realize that the game's never at fault. Why? <gasps> Shh. Uh.
No! That isn't fair! As I said, the dogs grant an extra bit of health. So sometimes you'll like find the exit, then you'll hear one and you'll go, you'll try to go get one, and sometimes you'll lose health while you go there or even die. I should have just left. I should have just left. Mm. Mm. <gasps> so bad. What? Huh? Please stop. Please stop. So once I was talking to my friend, my home Let me down. Let me down. About you know, how no. he should play this game. And he was like, uh, dude, I don't... I, he, he apparently had seen this game and was sort of like, not played, but like, clips of it. He says, you know, man, I, I don't like platformers. And I was genuinely surprised because I had never thought of this game as, as a platformer. And that's the thing. It's like one eighth platformer, and the rest is just being patient and thinking about what you're doing. But here are some really good platforming moments. Remember how I said it feels so good when your uh, perfectly made plan pays off? Roll the clip. And when when it pays off, it's so rewarding. Except sometimes it doesn't, and then and then you just feel mm, disgusting. I mean, if the uh, boulder comes out of his head, what am I supposed to do? You! Oh, I was, I was gonna put it down, but then I fell through the ladder, and then I got hit by the other thing, and I was gonna, I was gonna deliver the. the ah! But occasionally, once in every three million one hundred forty-one thousand five hundred ninety-two blue moons, something extraordinary happens. You have a plan. You stuff it up. And you still somehow survive. I need a skeleton. Dude, did you see that? Oh, oh look, I need this. Duh! That shouldn't have worked out for me at all. Now, if you've played Splunky, you probably noticed I've, I've, I've just brushed over a very. Uh, in a really important bit. It's the shopkeeper. In my opinion, he's probably the most iconic bit of the game. He, the way he works, is, I really like it. The how he works is, he, you know, he has these four items. You pay money for them, but they're still technically just items on the floor. You can pick them up, but as soon as you you do, he goes absolutely insane and tries to shoot you. But if if you have enough skill in it and is not bad at the game like I am, you can get him, and then steal all his stuff. But once you've done that, at the end of every exit of a level, there is there is one waiting for you. But you might go, okay, if you don't want to have to deal with him, just don't, 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 don't blow his stuff up, or steal his stuff, or hurt him. But it's... You sometimes don't realise. <gasps> what? That... Drew be unfair. I, I, I don't like how that went. How, how was that supposed to avoid? <laughs> oh, I forgot that this is a place. Now that I can catch with Michael. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.